Hi guys, it's me Jade, and I <clears throat> am here today to do, a, can my chair stop squeaking? That would be lovely. Lenny's here. He's just laying on the floor next to me. I would kiss you, but I have lip gloss, baby. My cat's also here, Brewster, but like I was saying today, I'm going to be doing a G3 uh, Monster High ranking video, because I have I, all of the like main dolls so far except deuce's main doll but i do have a deuce doll to rank here so that kind of gives me a little bit of like um you know like uh it, like a ability to rank g3 deuce because he looks pretty similar in this one you know but i don't have the ghoul spirit five pack i don't have those sleepover dolls but i don't really think those are i'm not gonna like consider them yet because they're not out everywhere they're kind of like early releases like the original g3 doll release you know like the sleep the creepover dolls are kind of like seeping out into stores but <clears throat> like i was saying we're just doing a g3 main doll ranking and like the coffin bean i guess and gorgonizer dracula too because i have those as well but I think those are fine because those are out everywhere too and a lot of people do have them so um yes let's get into it Brewster stop pushing my chair okay so starting out with because we are doing two ranking like categories the main designs like that the like the designers that they came out in the box you know and then my restyles because I've restyled quite a few of them some of them don't really have like drastic restyles, but most of them I've given like a little bit of my own spice, you know? So I have to rank it accordingly. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start off with number 11 of the OG design. We're going to start off with Coffee Break Juice because while well, he's a cute doll, like this is his restyle. Um, it's not much different. I couldn't really figure out much to do with him. I know that, like, this this ranking right I hear I'm doing is based on his original design. His pants were cool. Like, they're okay. They're, like, joggers, and they were nice. Like, they have a nice design, I guess. I'm not a big fan of this, because this could have been, like, black or something in the background, or, like, red to contrast against his, like, green skin, you know? They didn't really do color complement like color complementary designs like i feel like they just kind of did like very colorful designs and really didn't take into account like complementary colors and doing <clears throat> like actual color design work is going to be more efficient when you have like a basic design but um anyway i think his sweat he had like these weird fishnet like things on there i cut those off because i think i like i dislike them um i also gave him back his sunglasses yesterday i, I don't know i wanted to give him something extra because it's just a little simple but i love this little cupcake and that he's a little baker that's so cute and he works at the coffin bean like oh it's so cute i want the coffin bean playset because it's so cute and i want it on display i literally have no fucking room for any more dolls like i need shelves but i don't have the space like, as you can see, some of my brat dolls are on my TV stand. That's because I have no more room. <laughs> but anyway, next uh, on the OG designs list, one that I don't have, the only one I don't have of the OG designs um, is Deuce. Like, Deuce's main doll. I need to get Deuce. I want him, but I just have kind of put it off because the girls were more important to me. I'm sorry. The, uh, the girls. The girls are more important. <laughs> That's just always how it's been for me. I don't know. I've, I like Deuce has always been a cool character to me in the show, and I always loved him with Cleo. But like, I want them to give him more this time around, so he's not as much of like a afterthought for me, you know? Because right now he's more of an afterthought. Because in the show he is, he's been a little bit there, but he hasn't been super there, you know? But like Claudine like saved him or whatever, <laughs> and the like chocolate milk snake, like the little. He's like the comedic relief, almost, I feel like. I feel like he's going to be like comedic relief this time, you know, where, like, Heath was last time in the, like, webisodes. I feel like he's kind of be like that, you know? And I want it, I want a little more. I don't want just comedic relief from him. I want a little bit more on character development. 
but anyway oh the hair on my lip gloss anyway next for the og designs is claudie i feel like i shouldn't be showing the dolls if we're talking about the og og designs because i have them restyled so i kind of want to keep an element of surprise so i'm not going to show them i'm sorry maybe i'll insert pictures of the og designs I'll, i will do that so you have like something to look at at reference and then you can see my restyles so we will do that <clears throat> but i already showed you coffee break juice so you just kind of gotta deal with that but um claudine her og design is okay i have her pieces still like they're really cute but that's just like that's it you know it's super cute i like her top i like her top a lot it's very cute like i would use that for another claudine doll but i don't i'm not a big fan of the overalls like i'm just because i feel like they could have i would if i want like i want overalls like i want overalls like i want them thick i want them nice material i want them to look like denim i don't i didn't like that they kept it kind of like me like fabric and i don't like that they made them like a short i would like the pants i think that would be cool on claudine like uh overalls with pants that would have been really nice look because everything is like shorts with claudine or uh <clears throat> mini skirts i think you go like a cool pair of pants would have been nice you know like with the overalls but I can't obviously change the designs and I'm not hating on the like the designers like they did what they could with what they had and they wanted to make different designs than the OGs and I understand that and I like them I'm not saying I just like them but this is just my ranking and my opinions so um I like Claudine's under top I'm not a big fan of her glasses I would have made them a thinner plastic like thinner you know and I probably would have made them black. I feel like that would have been nice. Or purple. Like a purple accent. And then made some of the clothes darker. I think that would have been nice. And made her boots like purple or something. Like gave her like boots. But <coughs> it's alright. You know. Claudine got like sneakers right. Those sneakers were pretty cool. I'll give them that. The sneakers were a pretty cool design. For like you know the start of Monster High's like new era and they don't have as much money like i feel like people forget that like mattel does not have as much money as they used to like they used to be like running shit in the doll world but i feel like now people don't understand they don't put as much effort into like each doll line i feel like they don't get as much budget because i feel like over the years people have not been buying it barbie as much as other dolls like lol rainbow high so over the past few years their budget has kind of gone up gone down so with what they have i think they're doing a decent job i think like the new designs that are coming out like the ultimate secrets those look so cute i'm so excited for those <coughs> but anyway um that claudine is in ninth place so eighth place is gulia gulia is super cute this time like i think she's very reminiscent of the original like i know they changed her skin and people are like ah. i don't really I, I don't mind i feel like gulia was one of the least best in my opinion because i feel like they could have done more like they just gave her a skirt and they didn't even really they like gave her a pink skirt rather than a red skirt because i feel like red is gulia's color like red blue and I feel like with her green skin, it looks really cool, like the red and the blue. Because <clears throat> I restyled her and I gave her red lips. She had baby pink lips before and they were cute, but I just wanted red. I feel like red is a really statement color for Gulia. And I, um, I won't spoil too much, but yeah, um, I think they could have done better with Gulia. They could have given her like a better jacket um like with a hoodie they could have given her a hoodie they could have given her a better hat like the hat isn't very nice on her head and her glasses like they made them foggy i don't like that they should have made them just clear and open like claudine's if they were gonna give her foggy lenses i don't know <clears throat> but her little switch and her phone are so cute and her shirt is really cute i like her shirt 
um and i liked her boots her boots are really cute and i repainted them and i'll show you how i repainted them but they're really nice mold a really really nice mold for the shoe i love her backpack like her accessories are really nice i just didn't like the skirt i didn't like the hat but otherwise i really liked gulia and i like her i like her skin color like it's a cute cute color i like her face was okay i repainted it because i just wanted it more of my style but i feel like her face is pretty cute you know i hope in future designs they might change it up a little bit i feel like her eyes were a little bit like soulless compared to the rest of the monster high girls in this round like i feel like they didn't give them enough soul and and Gulia's eyes i understand that she's a zombie so they could have given it zombie soul you know like like how uh monica had like glowing eyes in the movie i feel like they could have done an element of like glowing eyes or something not like literal glowing eyes but like made them look like they were like like she's like dead you know what i mean like they did for cleo because cleo looks dead and i like that <coughs> but anyway next in the og designs is torlai um i like torlai's design i think it's cute um i didn't I wasn't too keen on the skirt because they made it so damn long for what reason like i understand Torla is a taller doll but like her uh skirt band is like all the way covering like her stomach and hip but i feel like that's not what like it, like it should be like on the lower waist right like i don't think it should be the waistband should be all the way in the, the covering your stomach you know it should be your lower waist right on a skirt at least so i cut it but now it's super loose so i gotta stitch it i gotta like sew the velcro and make it like smaller you know like because it's a pleated skirt so you can kind of fold like a layer and then sew it does that make sense so i gotta do that because i like her og skirt with like alterations you know but it's not great on its own. I like her Hisfits shirt and her Hisfits backpack. Very, very cute. Her cat shirt, I really like it. Her little cat shirt is so cute. Like, a cat wearing a cat shirt, like, it's so cute. It's like a calico cat. It's not her, it's not her as a cat, you know what I mean? She's wearing like a calico cat shirt. So I think that's cute. Um, and it looks like, like an evil cat. I don't know, I think it's nice, but, um, Sorry, I'm stuffy. I've been sick for a few days. I know I hate when people, when YouTubers are like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm stuffy. I've been sick. Like, duh. Duh, you've been sick. But, like, my voice is kind of, like, choking up and stuff right now. Because, blah. I think my niece got me sick. So, Because so. I, I threw up this morning, which wasn't fun. I, I, was, I fell asleep at, like, 4 a.m. And then I woke up an hour later exactly, like, I think I fell asleep at like 4.20 and then I woke up at 5, exactly 5.20 and I had to run to the bathroom. I was like, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. And I threw up on the toilet. I'm not gonna like make throw up noises because emetophobia, I don't like it. I'm not gonna put you through that <laughs> but it was not fun and it burnt my throat and my mouth tasted nasty and I was shaking profusely so I just forced myself back to bed and I didn't wake up till six o'clock today so I'm in a very uppity mood right now because it's nighttime and I am up at the night because I'm a night owl and this is not the right pill <clears throat> I forgot to take my anxiety pill today that's why I'm a little bit jittery as well. I think I forgot to take it yesterday. I'm a little shaky. But, um, yeah, Torlai is seventh. I like her hair color, and people are like, her long hair. I think it's pretty. I I just layered it, some gave it some layered bangs. I might get another Torlai and gave her short hair, because I love short hair Torlai. And I think that more characters should have short hair, because duh your girl has short hair like i want some characters to relate to like with sh short brown hair or short like cute hair i don't know i i like short hair i've always liked short hair on myself because it's easier to maintain 
I recently shaved my head, as y'all saw. Like, I don't care about having short hair. Like, it's a fun thing to have short hair, but it's also a fun thing to have long hair. So I think it's cute she has long hair. And Torlai didn't always have short hair. Like, she had a long hair a few times. So I think it's fun to switch it up. And I hope they do switch it up. Sorry, I had to take a drink. But, um, <clears throat> sixth place is Cleo's main design. I really like her design, but I also don't at the same time. I feel like they put too much tinsel on her hair. They, uh, they put, a, like... Like, it looks beautiful on her hair, and I think it's a nice accent, but I feel like they put too much right here. I plucked all that was right here and left the rest, because it's a nice accent throughout the hair when it's not right here, because right here makes it all bulky and makes her hair sit up. But I liked that aspect. Like, they like the tinsel. I just wish they would minimize it. And then her dress. I liked her dress, but I didn't like the sleeves. I don't like the mummy wrap sleeves like i wish they would just give her some mummy wraps like to wrap around you know like the old cleo and then her mummy wrap legs i used to not really like it but now i don't really mind as much i just wish they would have painted it maybe like that would have been cool to like paint it like gold or something like a light gold layer over so it can look like you can still like see her skin through it i think that would be neat to like make it somehow look like like a gold sheen mummy wrap around her leg or something. I think that would look nice. I uh, like her headband. It's cool. And her bag. I don't like that it's a backpack. So I made it into a little clutch bag uh, with the scarabs. I think the scarabs is a nice accent into her character now. And I like that they're bringing more of the Egyptian aspect. They darkened her skin. I think she's a really beautiful doll. My mom loves Cleo. My mom said Cleo's her favorite. So there you go for y'all that might have wanted to randomly know who my mom's favorite is my mom's favorite is cleo so <laughs> i i fucking smashed my finger i'm upset about that but um anyway next okay well cleo is in sixth place i don't know if i mentioned that okay next laguna I love Laguna's design. Laguna's design is so cute. And I am so sick of people being like, Laguna's not blue. And I haven't really seen much of that lately. But in the beginning, I saw that all the time. I was like, oh my fucking god. She literally looks gorgeous. What do you mean you don't want her to be pink? What the fuck? You don't want her to be pink? She has blue accents. She has blue and pink and green and purple hair like she's the, she's so fucking beautiful and her she looks reminiscent of the original laguna with her hoodie her shorts her biker shorts like i wish they would have given her jean shorts like in the the tv show they gave her jean shorts and uh, fishnets underneath the jean shorts i thought i think that would have looked really cool <coughs> But she has like her gills on her arm her gills on her leg barely come out now so now you won't have to fucking deal with her legs from gills coming out all the time that is a plus her hair is a beautiful saran texture it's gorgeous and soft her face her beautiful face i love her face she's beautiful laguna is one of my favorites but i have other favorites that's why she's in fifth place i'm sorry laguna for your og design you're in fifth place but you'll see where she is on my other ranking so um okay fourth place is regular frankie because um i say regular frankie because like there's two frankies um <laughs> frankie i really like frankies they're so beautiful I almost misgendered them sorry I'm sorry, but they are so beautiful. I I love this Frankie. The like minty blue skin is so pretty. Like it's like a really great transition from the like minty green skin that uh I keep looking at myself. I'm so sorry. I'm so conceited. But um the the great transition from the minty green skin that Frankie originally had in the first series and Frankie's face mold like the face screening beautiful the hair blend the sweater vest the sweater vest is so cute the undershirt shirt is pretty cute but I don't like how it like makes Frankie look like they have no neck 
you know? So that's my only complaint, really. Um, I love Frankie the Bionic Leg, so good. Um, I like the bag, it could be better. I think it's a little bulky, um, but I like it, it's cute. Uh, the screech saw I think is a cute accessory accessory and I love the camera the camera is such a good accessory for Frankie like like learning the world and like coming into the world and you want to take pictures and document everything and remember everything I think that's such a cute thought for Frankie and like being into like technology and stuff and like being mad scientist I think all these additions to Frankie are such a good transition into the next series for kids. Like, I don't know. I just love it. I love it. I don't know. It gives more, like, hobbies for kids. Like, when they're playing with their dolls, like, more hobbies for the dolls to have. Like, eating pizza and eating, like, taking pictures, making little pores. Like, I think it's so cute. Um, but Frankie's in fourth place. I'm sorry, Frankie. We're in the top three now. Dracula is superb this time. Like, they made her short, they made her a little chubby. Like, I don't, like, people are, like, went crazy about her being plus size. I think one side, like, like, people hating on her for being fat, like, calling her fat. I think it's a little excessive. Like, I think when, like, people are fat and they're joking about her being fat, I think it's fine. Like, if they're, like, I'm oh my god she's a fatty like me like I think that is fine like if you're literally been like called fat and bullied in your, in your life you know because like you know that's how I was in the beginning I was like she's a little fatty like me she's chubby <laughs> but not in a way of like just bullying her like I'm chubby too and I've been called fat so I don't mean it in that way she's literally not fat she's literally a doll it's just a smidgen thicker in the thighs like she's that's what I mean she's not actually fat like it's like a sarcasm thing but like she's got a like chubbier body shape and I think that's so nice for body diversity she's really beautiful her face screening I think is just so entrancing to look at I feel like she's very very beautiful like the purple blue, like pink eye blend is so gorgeous uh just looking at it right here she's so cute because you can see her little cherry slurpee <laughs> her backpack is so cute and how fabulous i haven't even been talking about the pets i'll talk about the pets when i do the ranking it'll be the second ranking but the pets are so cute oh my god <laughs> um but yes dracula is perfect like her little corset top the cheryl blow uh like Cheryl share from Clueless Top, like so cute. <sighs> so cute. She's just perfect. I don't know. Her little headband, her heels, her little socks. She's so beautiful. Her little pointy nose. I just feel like she's so cute. Her ears. I love her ears. I love all the ear molds of this time. Like they're all bigger, more prominent, different ear shapes. Like very nice. I like that a lot. Okay next doll coffee break frankie <sighs> i love this frankie this frankie is one of the best frankies out there like in any generation like i don't care what anybody says one of this frankie is superb like immaculate just beautiful uh they're so pretty like i can't the the top it looks like a tube top, like pranking you would think a tube top. Bam! It's not. It's got a little, like, collar top at the top, you know? And then you got the tie. The plastic tie so it doesn't get all crumpled over the years. Superb. Then you got that big jacket with the, like, shoulder pads. So good. The pleather shorts, so good so you can see the bionic leg. So good. The shoes, so cute. I cropped one of the shoes so it's a little bit shorter so it's not like like taking over her knee or their knee um <clears throat> but it's so cute I mean, like the boots are so cute and the accessories are really cute but I messed up the bag so I gotta, off, I gotta off, fix that I gotta paint it and I gotta give it another strap because I broke the other strap <sighs> sad about it but it's okay but Coffee Break Frankie is very beautiful the 
like their hair blend is very pretty like the more white hair blend and then the one streak of blue like towards the back i just really like that ranking it's so good but number one of the og designs is gorganizer dracula laura um gorganizer dracula laura i just it's like one of my comfort dolls now like so beautiful like her dress the way it fits her her uh fishnet top i like the fishnet top a lot the choker i love a choker i love a choker on a doll so good i always give ribbon chokers or like little uh, string chokers to my dolls if i can you know if i have extra string um the boots the boots so cute so cute i just love that dracula so good so good I think we gotta move on to the restyle rankings before this gets so long, you know? Alright, so we're gonna move on to the restyle ranking. So again, in 10th place, because we're not starting off at 11 because I don't have the original deuce, I just have this deuce, which I just gave him a pair of Bratz Boys jeans. I took off those thingies on his shoes because there's these little like like little wings on his shoes i thought they were ugly and i didn't like it um i took these off of his jacket and or jacket i mean like sweater thingy sleeveless hoodie and i gave him his sunglasses back because i thought they were cute and they're kind of hard to put on i don't know i don't know why would they give him sunglasses but like make it hard to move the snakes i don't know <coughs> okay next is Okay, well, that's gone now. Gulia. Gulia has coffee break deuces pants. I got that idea from Courtly Gestures. I stole your idea. Thank you for the idea. <laughs> I got it in one of your deep videos. But I had um, a pair of Bratz jeans on her, but I didn't like, like they were just, I don't know, not, not the greatest. Cause I need to sew them back up. Cause I, they were like fitting weird, I don't know. So I cut the sides, but then sew them again, then cut them again because it wouldn't fit her. But I got her a pair of big Bratz jeans that are coming in the mail and a red top that I'm so excited for. I'm so excited for them. Um, look at her boots. I repainted them black and I put, painted the brain texture bloody. So it looks like she's been like in the graveyard, like eating people's brains, like in her little, in her little grave yard and she's like in her little home eating brains oh that's what i get <laughs> but um she's low down just because i don't have the outfit i want for her yet so it's coming in the mail um i'm just trying to get dolls out of the way um So next is regular Draculaura, and you may be like, why is she so low? It's because she I haven't really needed to restyle her. The only thing I did was give her um, this headband, and I fixed up her bangs because they were a little bit me. And that's it. That's all I restyled from her. So she doesn't really need a restyle. So she doesn't rank highly on the restyle list because she is perfect in her OG design. So... That's why she's very low down. So, Dracula stands don't come for me because I'm a stand too. I love her. I'm a big, big Dracula fan this time around. And, it's been, and last time too, like in G1, I liked Dracula too. I just was more of a Laguna girl. I was more of a Laguna girl. I just, you know, I was a girl who did mermaid spells as a child. Like, what do you expect? I'm going to be a Laguna girl. <laughs> but, Anyway, uh, Gorgonizer Draculaura. <laughs> um, something fell. I think it was her ring, so that's upsetting. Um, because I took the ring off of original Draculaura and put it on here. And she has her little sunscreen, because I just want to keep it out for whenever I get the Gloom Beach Draculaura, or is it the other one that has this sunscreen? I want to give it to her. 
because I'm assuming I won't get that piece. So I just want to keep it out to give it to that doll if I get her eventually. But I love this doll. She's so cute. The only thing I did differently was give her the main doll, main Dracula sunglasses, gave her the coffin being Frankie and Deuce, like Dracula's drink that she ordered. I gave her the little pretzel. And like, like I said, I gave her that ring and I'm gonna grab that. A couple quick things I wanna mention is I also took down Dracula, uh, this Dracula's hair. And I also gave the organizer Dracula headband to my original Dracula. I said I just gave it this headband to her. It's the organizer Dracula headband. And then, <clears throat> oops, no copyrighted music. And then, um, I did, yeah, I, I boiled this Gorgonizer Dracula's hair. It's very difficult to boil her hair. That is one thing that's a negative about this Dracula. Her hair is a fucking bitch to work with. And that's, um, uh, I think that's, oh, and I, have, I was gonna mention, I f kept forgetting to, like, m mention about the dolls that came with, like, jackets. Because, like, I don't really use the jackets. Um, like, I, I mentioned something about Gulia's jacket. I Like, the jackets are okay. I like Claudine's jacket. Um, I like Gulia's jacket. Uh, I don't like Cleo's jacket. I think it's fugly as fuck. Um, Dracula has, like, this cape. I don't know. It's alright. But I don't, I couldn't get it on her. I don't know. But, like, I don't know. I tried to put it around her waist as, like, a skirt, and I couldn't get it. And then I tried to put it around her neck as a cape, and I couldn't get it either. So, I don't know. My fingers are not very dexterous. But, yeah. That's, that's all I want to mention, I think. Because none of them really have their jackets. But, yeah. Frankie. Oh, I haven't really been talking about the pets. Um, Perseus, I like um, Perseus more this time. Perseus this time is superior to the old fucking ugly ass rat that P Perseus was. He's so cute now. But um, Dracula's Count Fabulous now is so cute. I love the heart eyebrows. Adorable. And Frankie, I like Watsy. Watsy's a cute little robot dog. It reminds me of um, Goddard from Jimmy Neutron, and that's so cute, um, yeah, we're on a good spot, okay, um, we're in sixth place, because, yeah, that's how far we are, uh, the only thing I did differently was take the undershirt off of Frankie, and give, um, give them these earrings that were on Coffin Bean Frankie, so I thought they would look better, and gave the screech saw and like that's about it yeah nothing really different oh i took the hair clips off um and boiled the hair i love this frankie like also one of my comfort dolls just to look at all the time it's just so cute um next claudine Okay, so I restyled Claudine quite a bit. <laughs> I really like how I restyled her. I gave her a pair of Rainbow High shoes and I rubber banded them on because it wouldn't stay on. Um, I gave her a brat skirt that I cropped. I gave her this brat's top. Um, I saw somebody on Instagram give her this top, so I got that idea from them. I don't know who. I took her nose off because I've seen a few people do that and I thought that was really cute. Cause it looks like old G, OG Claudine, you know? Um, and her face is really pretty. <laughs> she got a little smirk, like a little... I think that's cute. <laughs> um, I like her necklace. It's like from her dad. Um, like her mom's necklace. I think that's cute that they added that in onto the doll. Like, a peop I heard somebody be like, on YouTube, say, like, they always incorporate the doll. I wonder, like why they're putting the doll or putting that necklace on every doll like 
you know, I wonder if it's from Claudine's dad or something, uh, or like that's what it should be. And then it was in the show, and I was like, wow, they guessed that. <laughs> Or they like, you know, said that would be a good idea and they literally did it. So I think that that was cool. But um, I got Crescent and I got a variant without the black nose. So I colored the black nose on with Sharpie. Crescent's so cute here. In the show, Crescent's like a gray color. And right here, she's purple. And I don't really get that. Um, maybe because like Watsy's gray and they don't want like kids to get used or you know, they didn't want to make like similarities like they didn't want they wanted a purple like for the purple tone of Claudine didn't really want it to be off you know but I feel like they could have made per more uh, crescent more purple in the show but uh like a lot of yeah, yeah I really like Claudine really pretty probably polypropylene po polypropylene hair it's a little bit a little bit of a struggle to do but it's not like the worst thing in the world i don't know i guess i feel like people little excessive it just takes a little bit of work you gotta wash it a few times straighten it a few times you gotta do what you gotta do make your dolls pretty you know if you want them perfect you gotta make them perfect like in your own way obviously not perfect perfect but like if you want your dolls looking pristine you gotta do hard work Moving on now. <coughs> Claudine. Okay. Coffin Bean Frankie. So cute. I love the pink lip, the bright pink lip with the bright pink shoes. Like I said, I cropped these shoes so it wouldn't be so like abrasive on the knee, you know, because they had like that big bend on the knee. Where it would like bend out and i thought this would just look a lot better you know so you can see the knee a little bit when it bends it's a little less like big you know um i like the cropped boot i think that's really cute i'm pretty sure it's because um people that have a prosthetic leg i've been calling them like bionic uh i don't know if that's like rude to say like bionic like I think it is like bionic to Frankie like it's like a bionic leg but prosthetic leg um you have to wear like cropped boots I don't because like it's messes with the leg maybe I don't know I I just heard that somewhere if I'm wrong you like fully uh, fully correct me that's fine I don't want to be you know spreading misinfo but I just gave this Frankie um these earrings <laughs> the lightning bolt earrings and i gave them the sunglasses that the other frankie came with and the coffee and uh the foam that they came with and yeah i really like frankie i really connect to frankie um because i just really do i like their character a lot um their eyebrow ring i really like the eyebrow ring i just think they're beautiful i don't know just really really well executed doll and character this time around and i like the i like watsy i don't know some people don't like watsy i like watts it more and like the design aspects i like that watsy watsy watts it looks like an actual dog and has some like creature elements but this one looks more like a robot dog and i think that's cool but they're different you know but cute robot dog I wish they would have given the gear more definition though because they only have like one little gear like thing you know like one little gear shift thing sticking out so it's like you know it's hard to tell that it's like a gear in the eye unless you watch the show you know but third place for the restyles um Torlai. So, ah, I gave Torlai red eyebrows. They're a little bit uneven. Oopsie, but it's okay. I gave her some like fluffy layered bangs. 
I gave her these Cleo sunglasses because Cleo came with these sunglasses and they don't make any sense for her design I feel like but they look cute on Torlai so I gave her a belly button ring I gave her a brat skirt and I painted these rainbow high shoes Daria's rainbow high boots and I gave her to uh, I gave them to Torlai she has her milk and her phone she has her backpack on her on her tail because I thought that'd be cute and then she got Sweet Fang and Sweet Fang. I think Sweet Fang has some tuna. So I put tuna next to Sweet Fang because I thought that'd be cute <laughs> on display. So, yeah. Um, next, we're getting down to the wire. That was the start of the top three. Laguna Blue. I love the way I restyled her. She is so pretty. I love looking at her all the time. I took off her leg paint because it was chipping when I got her. Um, and I tried to like blend it with acetone. It didn't work. It just took off the paint and it made a big blob of paint empty. I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna take it all off because it'll still look pretty. And I think it looks really nice. Um, she has a beautiful face, like I was saying. I took off her gills because I didn't like how they looked. Um, I love her earrings. They're so cute. <laughs> um, her phone, her shell phone, like, oh my gosh. I gave her her sunglasses on the top of her head. I gave her her hydro flask and her little kelp crisps and her backpack and she's holding it. I love the puka shell necklace. Like, I gave her brat shorts, brat shirt. Um, Neptuna is really cute. I like the original Neptuna more, but this Neptuna is like a Barbie fish. Like, I don't know, it looks like a little Barbie fish, and I really like that. It's super cute. Um, but like the little highlight she has in the inner corner. Like, look at that. She has fucking highlights in her eyes. Like, that is gorgeous. They made her beautiful. Like, she's so beautiful. So beautiful. And she has a little uh, goldfish. Super cute. And then, for the number one restyle, um, Cleo Denial, you so beguile. Even though you. <coughs> it was like, shut the fuck. <laughs> Anubis was like, I'm gonna false you, shut the fuck up. Oh, that's Tut, not Anubis. I was thinking of the prototype, um, or the leak, you know. But look, oh, the way I restyled her, she's just so beautiful. And I just think I did a really good job finding, like, a really Cleo cunty outfit. Like, I feel like she would wear this. She would be like, yes, yes, I'd wear that. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like the sparkly skirt, the top, but like with the neck, I feel like that's cute. Um, I feel like I should maybe get her another shirt to wear. So, cause I don't want to put her amulet on this shirt because I don't want the amulet to like rub off the shirt. Cause this is a brat's shirt and it's older. But I made I put like a little side swoop. Uh, I make her made her bag a little bag a little um clutch thing instead of the backpack I took the straps off I gave her a little drink um I gave her rainbow high shoes these little lol socks I thought they looked really cute as like little little, little socks yeah but her hair plan is just wow so pretty so pretty and I have her little eye eyeshadow palette out um and <laughs> out with her very cute I like Tut a lot I want his set back though I think his set would be really cute to have um but that's it for all the like rankings of all the dolls like like all like the OG designs and the restyles but I'm gonna do a quick ranking of the Monster High songs that have been coming out so I think it's five so far so Claudine's song is in last because it's like mm, it's okay but it's like I feel like they try to do too much and too little 
at the same time like they made the animation kind of bad but like they tried to make her music very soulful jazzy and then rap and it was just like a lot I don't know but it was like still catchy and cute and I think it showed her like background and stuff I thought that was nice um then probably Frankie song I like Frankie song Frankie song's really cute but it's just like you know there's only five I gotta I gotta put something in fourth you know Frankie the song then um Laguna song I like Laguna song a lot really good really good um then Draculaura song in second and then Cleo song in first because Cleo's song is stuck in my head always it's like Cleo 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 make way for the queen like I don't know they ate up with that song huh? <laughs> like the songs are cute they're good I wish they would put them on I um Spotify so I can listen to them but I hope they do soon but yeah uh, that's it for all the rankings so far maybe I'll do another ranking maybe like later on this year when more come out and I have more to pick from more options and making it harder for myself and my life <laughs> but yeah I this video was really fun to film I'm sorry it took me so long to film again but I never get my damn iPad back from my niece my niece always has a fucking iPad and I can never edit and I don't want to put iMovie on my phone I don't have a lot of space and also I sleep in it all, a lot I'm lazy I sleep in a lot and and then it takes away from me wanting to actually do anything so yeah I gotta be better about that but I have my iPad on my bed and it's charged and um yeah I'll be able to film hopefully more videos here soon um because i'm gonna try to make it a point to always grab my ipad at the end of the night so i don't always have to like leave it in tori's room and forget about it you know i don't have to leave it like obviously it's my ipad i could go in and grab it but I'm just, i just forget about it and i'm like oh yeah she has my ipad inconvenient because i want it to film right now <laughs> so yeah but I am gonna go put all these dolls back, probably take some pictures of them first though, so I can make a thumbnail, and yeah, um, but I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you if you watched all the way through, I don't know how much I'm gonna edit this video, I kinda wanna make it just like a long, like, talking video, like Angeloza does, cause that's like, I always watch those videos, I feel like maybe somebody would watch, wanna watch this, I don't know, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go now, bye!